guess say shooting a video and not having, uh, you know, the, the my usual bedspread, you know, with my sheets and my blanket kind of looks a little bit weird, but I'm currently doing laundry right now and I'm washing all that stuff. Um, so with that being said, uh, if you guys are wondering why my bed looks different, well, that's the reason why, but we're not here to talk about that, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually here to talk about something that has been kind of weighing on my mind for quite a little bit now. Now, I also want to add in the disclaimer that I do come at you guys this video completely out of character and this is all on the spot as well. I uh, didn't exactly plan ahead to make a video like this, so I'm just like, you know what, let's go raw and uh, off the cuff and all that stuff and see what we can do, you know. But try not to take up too much of your guys' time because I did talk about this topic before, albeit very briefly, about a month or so ago um, in one of my videos that was like a little over 10 minutes. It was... But I believe it was February 21st that I was last talking about the subject, and that was, uh, you know, talking about clickbait in the Pokemon community, and more or less kind of specifying uh, when it comes to covering fake news or fake leaks. Now, I'm going to be straight up with you guys and acknowledge the fact that when it comes to fake leaks in general, it is a pretty dicey subject. It is pretty sensitive, and what I mean by sensitive is how it's handled by the people that are making the video, you know? It's one thing to put out fake leaks and, you know, uh, you know, just talk about it and whatnot, like, just within your own circle of friends and not have it publicized, you know, that's, that's one thing, I mean, that's not really that big a deal, um, but if you end up talking about it in a video and you're publishing it for the world to see, then that right there is where things kind of become a little bit different. So, obviously, there's two ways to deliver that sort of video, talking about that particular subject, and that is, number one, doing it the irresponsible way by not having any disclaimers, by not, you know, warning your audience, by saying, hey, what we're here to talk about here is not confirmed, you know, please take this with a pinch of salt, but instead, you know, you're just making it just the most clickbaity bullshit that there ever could be on the internet. Like, we're, we're talking past Jake Paul bullshit, you know? That shit's clickbaity as hell. But the thing is that, like, it, we're talking about a level where it's nothing but utter scumbaggery and deception and not to mention also disrespect for your audience, and it also doesn't help your credibility as well as a source that is providing that sort of information. And there's also the other way, which is, you know, on the opposite side of the spectrum, where it's like, okay, you know what, it's like, what we're here to talk about here is not confirmed, but I'm going to lay out a disclaimer to say that, you know, please take this with a pinch of salt, as this isn't confirmed by an official source, but, you know, let's have a little bit of fun here, let's discuss this, you know, let's talk about, like, the what-if factor, you know, what if this was to be a thing, you know? It's more or less under the pretense of speculation, you know? When it comes to speculation and when you have things like disclaimers uh, labeled all over the video and you're giving verbal disclaimers as well to your audience at the very beginning by saying, hey, what we're here to talk about here isn't confirmed by an official source, then honestly, I don't see a problem with that. I mean, hell, like I've, I've covered uh, fake news before, but the difference is, is that I've always done the best I could to be responsible and say, hey, guys, like, what we're here to talk about is not confirmed, so please do not take this as holy gospel. Do not take this as confirmed. Please take this with a pinch of salt, as until this is confirmed by an official source, we're going to rule it as unconfirmed. But at, in the meantime, let's have a little bit of fun with some speculation and... Again, with the what-if factor. So, by now, in this point of the video, you're probably asking me, well, where did this video come from all of a sudden? You know, why are you making a video like this? You know, you did already talk about this briefly last month, and you guys are absolutely right about that, and... As for your guys' question, well, want to take a guess? Uh, let's just say a certain someone decided to make a video today to talk about Poketubers covering these fake leaks. Surprise, surprise. Anyone want to take a guess who it is? Well, here's the thing is that I'm not going to even say this dude's name because, frankly, this individual doesn't deserve to have that name come out of my mouth and therefore be granted free publicity just by mentioning his name. Now, I will say that, you know, if this is just one of them sort of situations where it's just like you have a little person, you know, making a whole bunch of noise and it gets ignored and, you know, the people that that this person's making noise about doesn't get affected, you know, then it's just, that's one thing. It's like, okay, you know, that's just someone that's just shit talking, whatever, fuck them. But here's the thing is that when this happens, you know, more or less every single time that fake leaks come out, it's like, okay, something does have to be said. And here's the thing is that 
There's been times in the past where people have spoken about these fake leaks, like Pokemon Stars, for example, okay? Do you, do you guys remember it was the end of 2016, the very beginning of 2017? Like, it was it, within that uh, period of time that, you know, Pokemon Stars was suddenly the hot topic of the community. And the thing is, is that, you know, he ended up covering it in, you know, videos and all that stuff. And then the moment that someone else and several other people started talking about it, it was like, well, wait a second. It's like all of a sudden this person decides to flip a dick switch and be all like, oh, well, you know what? I'm going to be a straight asshole now and start attacking these other people because they covered the exact same thing that I covered, yet let's completely ignore the fact that, you know, hey, like, you know, I, I covered this because this was originally my idea, you know? What I say, it is the truth, right? No. But believe me when I say, man, you're not above us. And the reason that I say that, ladies and gentlemen, is because of the fact that if this individual covers something first and then other people start covering it, he gets all mad and huffy and is all like, oh, well, you know, this person stole my idea, rah, rah, rah. But if, say, someone else was to break news first or, you know, break out a topic that he hasn't yet got to, oh, well, you know what? It's like this person's a scumbag. It's like, you know, this person's clickbait in their eyes. They're dishonest. You know, they're, they're covering fake news and being irresponsible and this, that, and everything else. It's just like we can't win with you. But see, here's the thing, man, is that it's not a matter of whether we can win against you. It's a fact that, well, here's the thing. You you end up losing every time. So put that together. And also, ladies and gentlemen, do I do I even need to mention this? I, I probably do to prove my point even further. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that this individual has made so many videos calling out various Pokemon YouTubers for covering fake news and being irresponsible and all that stuff. And yet this individual ends up turning around and doing exactly what he's hating on us for it's like dude it's like you can't just be throwing accusations at us and then turn around and end up doing exactly what you get pissed off at us for doing it's like that doesn't even make any sense honestly like if we're going to factor logic into this equation here it makes absolutely no sense but here's the thing is that in your world it's like logic doesn't matter because things only work one way and that's your way and if someone was to even go slightly against the grain it's like well they either get screamed at or they get blocked or they end up getting uh, lynched by your little hate mob and your circle jerk of an audience it's like seriously it's like how can you call yourself pokemon fans it's like the true spirit of pokemon doesn't involve things like bullying doesn't involve things like censorship and it certainly doesn't involve things like juvenile delinquents going around and hating on other people just because someone that they woke up to does the exact same thing and they seem to be immune to consequence which i will say and i hate to break it to you man is not the case in the long run and on one final note here actually you want you want to talk about, you know, creativity and irresponsibility and all that stuff. Well, see, here's the thing, is that there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, shooting some ideas back and forth to your audience when it comes to making those sort of videos, just as long as, as I said, you take responsibility and you add in disclaimers to say, hey, what we're here to talk about is not confirmed by an official source, you know, it's not confirmed whatsoever, but, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, but in the meantime, though, let's have fun with some speculation. The way I see it is that, you know what? Because there's the number of Pokemon YouTubers that are coming together and making these sort of videos, you know, talking about these leaks, you know, having their own perspectives and whatnot, you know, it, in a way, it allows us to kind of bounce ideas off each other back and forth for, you know, maybe future speculation videos. Because like I said, there's nothing wrong with speculation, but I mean, it seems like that it's a cardinal sin in your eyes, which... I also hate to break it to you, not really, but, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with speculation, and there's definitely nothing wrong with sharing your ideas, just as long as you do so in a responsible manner. Anyways, guys, I more or less just kind of wanted to get that out there, more or less kind of vent a little bit, but also it's kind of gotten to a point where it's just like, look, man, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm letting a lot of shit pass, okay? And here's the thing is that, you know, um... You rewind back to two years ago where, you know, things were really, really bad. And then also last year when things got personally bad. It's like, you know, I felt like I'd done pretty good holding my tongue and all that stuff. But, I mean, here's the thing is that... 
you know, pretty soon it is going to come to a head if this kind of stuff doesn't stop. And if something doesn't change, if something doesn't give, it's like, well, here's the thing, man, is that, you know, I'm not going to stay silent, especially if that sort of stuff that is going on in the community trickles over to us. And here's the thing, is that so far, I want to say we've been pretty damn lucky when it comes to avoiding the you-know-what effect from this individual because of the fact that he decides to make a video hating on others who talk about these fake leaks, you know? There's honestly no need of this shit, you know? Honestly, it's like, I'm here to entertain, I'm here to have fun, I'm here to inspire everyone, you know? And that's all I want to do, but it's like, there's no inspiration in making videos like these, because this is the kind of shit I don't like, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, I also have stood by the adage to always stand up for yourself, stand up for what you believe in, but at the same time, at the end of the day, be mindful and be respectful of those around you, you know? 